Welcome to Winning Wall Street's Money. Help support my channel. We need to get to 1,000 subscribers pretty much as soon as possible. So then I go live streaming because YouTube policy that won't let me go live until I have 1,000 subscribers. Thank you to all the folks out there that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, please take this moment now with helping me. Click subscribe. Next, click the bell. And next, click all. This helps you receive a notification when I post my next videos. Plus, click the thumbs up button and every time you watch my videos. If you got value from this video, if this was helpful, then please consider sharing a small monetary donation to my channel by going below and clicking on either my Patreon or PayPal links. If you join my Patreon page, then you'll get early access to these videos 24 hours before they're posted on the YouTube and lots more. If you prefer just leaving a small tip, click on PayPal. Either way, then you get that warm sense of satisfaction years down the line knowing that you helped me become a successful YouTuber. Sunday, May 14th. Looking at the desktop trading platform for Thinkorswim. Going to make a template for a style where how we want the chart to appear. So first, I want to have more space. So I'm going to close on the left side, the left sidebar. I'm going to click this and it's close. If I want to bring it back, there's an arrow there, click it, it comes back. Right now, let's again work with more real estate. So on the top left here, this box, I have a symbol loaded up. And I'll just leave that in there for now. Microsoft, MSFT, I have the down arrow, and shows the last price it traded on. And this is the default screen appearance. Well, I don't like that. I think I could do better. First, right sidebar, this content here, I wanna create more space, I'm gonna remove that. Click on show sidebar cells, uncheck it, there we go. So looking here on this chart, you may want to have some space on the far right. You may not want to butt against the far right price range. Okay, click on the sprocket and time and axles. Let's add some space, add 10, apply, save. There we go. Let's go a little bit more space, time axles. Let's put 30, apply, Okay, there we go, 30. Maybe I want to change the color appearance. Sprocket. Well, first let's go to general. General, I'm fine with my settings. Axis, fine. Time. Yep, so we'll leave default. Have the whole chart show one year daily. And we'll leave the settings I have here on the right for now. Nope, we'll take off the um, show expiration Friday. I don't want to see that. Click apply. See those red lines taking off? I don't need that. Click OK. Next, I want to change the um, appearance. So the green candles, I want solid because right now you see they're not solid. Click on that green. They're solid. Click on apply. There we go. And let's again click on sprocket. See if there's anything else I want to change here. Maybe it's the volume may want to change color. So let's click on more. Go yellow. Okay. Apply. Okay. There we go. We got the volume. Just as yellow. Let's rock it again. Appearance, I'm fine with that. Equities. Yep, make sure I want that check mark. Show corporate actions, which would be down here when the earnings are, dividends. Okay, and one more. We'll go to the uh, futures. Good. I might choose that later in the forex. Good. Okay. So let me put a feature symbol in here. 
we can see how it may change. We'll put forward slash ES. There's the futures. Yeah, I don't want all this information. I, I don't want all this displayed. So click on the sprocket and click on futures now because that's a futures product interest rate we're looking at. Click on futures and I'm gonna remove the open interest. Click on apply. And I'm gonna remove the appearance. Nope. The um show contract change events, click apply. So that green line just came off. I can click this on and see it. I'm not interested to show the contract change events. Okay, so again, it looks very similar to what a stock would look like on the chart setting. Let's put a chart up here, SPY. Let's put another one, Facebook. Okay, very similar, very similar. And let's do a Forex one. You are the yeah, the euro and the US dollar. There we go. And Forex has no volume. And by default, I'm gonna leave this to Microsoft. So click on the sprocket again. Yep, nothing else I want to change there. Now, because I have Microsoft, or actually let's uh yeah, we'll leave there. So I want to make sure I have something else set correct. So I'm going to change the D to 15 minute. Now we're looking at each candle 15 minute. These gray going vertical is the extended hours. I want to see the appearance, make sure I have no uh, interference. Now let's do a futures forward slash ES. Again, sticking to the 15 minutes. Yep. And make sure the cosmetic appearance on the futures. Click on the sprocket on features. So I want to highlight the extended hours. So let me show you again, the Microsoft for the stocks, any stock, again, we're extended hours. So the dark black is the regular trading hours, 9.30 a.m. before. So click on the sprocket, equity. See it says highlight down here on the left, highlight extended hours, sure. But I don't have that for the futures. So I'm gonna leave it out for the futures. Click apply, okay, and let's load a future. Well, there we go. The extended hours. And again, you see how it's going to be for the futures. Yes, SP 500. There we go. Let's go back to the daily. Again, one year in the daily. We're going to put Microsoft. One year duration, each candle's a day. And if I want to go into today, but right now we're going to leave this as a template. Template, so I'm gonna click on style, save style as, I'm gonna check include patterns. I'm gonna label this 01, basic, basic, got it, basic. And I'm gonna call, actually call it template, template basic and dealing. Handle. Again, it's clearly telling me this is a template because I'm going to use it on several grids. And it's a basic, doesn't have all bills and whistles on it. And the duration is daily in the appearances candle. Click on save. So now let's click on style. And I already made a mistake. Spelling error right there. Yeah. Struggles real. Okay. Let's um, do another one. Oops. Yeah, but let's do another one. Oh no, that's right, that's up, not into it, that was an old one. All right, so now I wanna make an intraday one. Click on this, day, 15 minute. I wanna put it for five days, default to five days. Again, let me show you what I did there. Click on the time frame, 15 minutes, and click style, doesn't matter, go up there too. Time frame, five days, 15 minutes, right there setting. Okay, but I don't want the volume, I don't want the volume. Click on the sprocket. Equity, I'm going to remove the volume. Apply, she's gone. Also, I'm going to do it on the futures. Click on futures, show volume. I'm going to remove that there. Click on apply. So let's put futures here, make sure it's not showing the volume. There we go, it's not showing volume. If it was, it would look like this. Futures, volume, 
but I don't want that. Okay. So now I'm going to save this also as a style. Save. I'm going to call it 02. Template. Basic. 15 minute. Again, not all a bunch of bells or whistles on chart. Just tell me it's a template. Basic. 15 minute each candle. And click save. Little style. There it is.